so it has it has very less urination right it does not urinate frequently very less urination that means it loses very small amounts of water from its body and it can stay without drinking water for a very long time and it can control its metabolism its internal body reactions to run for a longer time without the water right so it has got a hump in which the stored food that helps to maintain its strength for a long time so without feeding and drinking it can walk for long miles that is all the features these are all the special features of the camel so the plants and animals that are living in the sea they have some special features the plants and animals that are living in the desert they have some special features the plants and animals that are living in himalayas snow places they have some special features so what we are going to tell now what is our point here so our point is that living organisms they can live in any condition any kind of environment right so organisms they live in a particular place where the organism is living that particular place is the habitat of that organism so camel is living in the desert desert is the habitat of camel so here we have come to the word habitat the place where an organism lives naturally that is its habitat if somebody asks you what is the habitat of camel you can say the desert somebody asks you what is the habitat of fish water so the place where an organism naturally lives is called its habitat so all the organisms to live in their habitat just to live in habitat they will be developing some special features or they possess some habits to live in that particular habitat that special features having or possessing such special features is called as adaptation adaptation so here you see that you may get wondered wow here there are no leaves to the cactus what happened to the leaves the leaves are turned to spines it's a special feature yes you can recognize it is a special feature so where is the stem of this cactus it is turned to a thick succulent fluffy watery flat shaped organ that you can find the stem how it turned to that is a special feature right so such showing such special features to live in one particular habitat is called as adaptation okay so in this particular topic habitat and adapt adaptation we are studying about the living place of the organisms and what kind of special features they possess to live in the particular habitat so we have seen what is a habitat and what is adaptation now to understand this better let us verify some habitats let us verify observe some organisms or animals or plants living in that particular habitats so by that we can better understand how the adaptations in animals or plants help them to survive in that particular habitat right so here we can broadly classify the habitats into two categories the first one terrestrial habitat so that is any plants or animals that are making life on the land or called or coming under the terrestrial habitat the terrestrial habitats are further classified to forests grasslands deserts coastal regions and mountains whereas the aquatic habitat the plants and animals that are making their living in water are called are coming under the aquatic habitats so some of the aquatic habitats are ponds swamps lakes rivers and oceans so now let us see what sort of life is there in each and every habitat that's what we have that's what uh, we have mentioned here so before we go and see what is explore each and every habitat that we have mentioned here we see a habitat consists of two things in a habitat we find biotic things abiotic things when you call a particular place a surrounding a pond a pond is made up of living and non living things biotic and abiotic 
So, biotic is the living thing that is the plants, animals and microbes. All three, all these three together constitute the biotic, abiotic, abiotic factors. So, they are not the living things, abiotic things or the temperature, humidity. So, all the other factors, the physical factors, they come under the abiotic part, right? So, when you are referring to a term, habitat means, habitat means not only the living things, habitat means not only the place, it is the place with the things that are living in that place, you call it the habitat. So, now let us explore some habitats, the kind of animals that are living in that particular habitat and the special features, how they are able to make their living. So, come to the first one, desert, desert animals, already we discussed about the desert, plants and animals, then we uh, learnt about the camel. In desert, not only camel, there are certain animals like rats, desert rats and snakes also live in the desert, right? Then how do they live? Desert rat and snake how they can withstand the high temperature of the desert. So, these animals, they make burrows in the soil, burrows. So, during the daytime, the surface of the desert is heated up because of the sunlight. But whereas, if you go beneath the surface, it will be cooler. Cooler in the sense, compared to the surface, the bottom is a little cooler. So, these animals, they make burrows, tunnels into the ground and they deep, they go deep into the burrows and they live there during the daytime. If they stay in the burrows, how do they get their food? So, they come to the search of their food in the nights. So, night time the surface of the desert will be cooled down. So, these animals, they come out of the burrows in the night and they go in search of their food. Whereas, the other animal like camel, I already told you that the camels, they have got very long legs. So, which keep up their bodies away from the heat. It has got a lump, it does not sweat, it loses very little water. So, with all these features, it is able to make living in the desert. So, in the plants, cactus, I told you. So, if you see the cactus, this particular part of the cactus is not the leaf. Generally, it looks like a leaf, but it is the stem. The stem is modified, the stem is succulent, the stem holds the water. The stem is green in color. The leaves are reduced or modified to spines. Actually, the spines are the leaves. Why the leaves are modified? This, all these modifications are to reduce the loss of water. So, all the efforts are to reduce the loss of water. If it is not reduced, the water is lost from the plant and it gets dehydrated very soon. But it is not happening. Why is not happening? Because there are some modifications, some adaptations. What are they? The stem, it changed like a succulent leaf like structure. The leaves are modified to spines. So, by that, there is a minimal loss of water. So, the water is restored in the body of the cactus plant. So, by which it can make its living in the climatic condition like desert. So, that is cactus. Now, let us go to the second terrestrial habitat that is the mountain. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.